here a bit. Very bossy, do you know that? Yes, I do, sorry. The bossiest. Hi everybody. You've definitely got older sister energy. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Well, do you know that's Oh, well, you've got some heat on. Oh, I know, do you know yesterday I was talking about control and therapy, so that's funny. Oh yeah, and what, what was he saying? I think it has got worse. Sorry everyone, hello. Hi. <laughs> Drain it, baby. I'm wearing sunnies on the gloomiest day in London because yeah, I feel I depressed think... about this state of affairs. When you texted me yesterday, I'm wearing sunnies. I thought, okay, babe, go on. But like, have you optimistic. Looked at, have you looked at the weather forecast? I actually never do. Really? Never. Oh, I often do that. And I often get caught out. No, so honestly. We've just been to this really fun. By the way, guys, this is the last episode of the season. Happy last episode. Happy last episode. Don't miss us too much because Probably... we're now creating a podcast. So you know you're going to have double us. And everyone the time. that's panicking themselves. Are you? We're still gonna do drive through. Yes, Don't we are. Worry about it. We're so obsessed. Sorry, with I know you want to talk about the event, but please, can you talk about therapy first? I'm way more interested in that. You know when you have a dad that like just you know like you scrape your knee and you fix it. Yeah. I didn't have that, so I've had to fix everything myself. Yeah. What about your mama though? Total. My mum's like a solve your own problem kind of person. Fine. She's like independence is key. Right. Get on with it. Yeah. Here are the tools, but like, what do you think you might like? Even yesterday, I was like, I think I need to get rid of my car and she was like getting what? rid of the Audi yeah because babe, babe I've actually just got it tattooed on my arm so you can't but you can't can, ever babe listen, get rid we could leave it hands in, we could leave it in the driveway but like babe hands and how are we gonna get Alison and how would Rob Becky and Josh Whitaker come all of in the in the it back would be of the tricky car. it you would be mean? tight and we just look like dum dums dum dums getting poor Christopher Hall with his head knocking the ceiling and he's not and he won't mind me saying he's not the tallest man no, I've to, ever met I've yeah. met taller yeah so you know it is quite how stressful how cool was Christopher Hall, sorry. Obsessed with him. Obsessed. I really want to be his best friend. And he's just on Rod Stewart, babe. You can't come across too keen. He's I'm very keen. No, I think people think I'm nice. Nice to a point. You can't over egg the... No, I think I can. I don't think you can. I sorry. think I can. I think I've got loads of new friends just ready to be my friend. So excited. I think they think I'm fun. I think they think, oh, she's so nice and fun. <laughs> I don't know, babe. Some you'd people to... like keen. You'd have to fact check that with them. I'll ask Christopher Hall. Do some market research. I do my market research now, post date, post friend meet up. I like, I just check it. Babe, he's not gonna sit there much. and slag you off and be like, you're the most keen, irritating. He's not gonna say that. Babe, irritating. Oh, so I was like, he's Sorry, not... irritating was harsh. Okay. I don't think I'm irritating. He's not gonna say you're too keen. And I think you should turn it down a bit. He's not gonna say that to you because he's he not might. He's say, do you know what you did come on strong with the five texts in a row? Don't worry about it. Next time, maybe send one and I'll go, yeah, okay, sorry, Chris. And guys, I'm so hungry. All I can think about is eating. I know. Why didn't you eat? I did eat that muffin, but I didn't want, it was like cake and it was too early and I can't eat that right the first thing in the morning. We just went to an event where they had really good coffee and really good, like, scandy no, pastries. And also, we made our like, own perfumes. We did a breathwork yeah, session. Yeah, it was actually epic. epic. Oh my God. We've what? got to tell you about Rob, Alison and Josh. Yeah, it was epic. Alison Hammond is just 10. ten. Like, oh my I'm... god, guys, if anyone was wondering like, if she's as good in real life, she's better. I agree. She's so kind, she's so warm, she's so funny. So we were like, at the end, G was like, obviously spaffing her pants. And Alison was like, come on then. See, that's on... where playing it cool wouldn't get you anything. No. Alison let me sit on her lap because I was so uncool. No. She fair. was like, sit on my lap. And I was like, yes, please, you've made my day. And she was like, come take a picture, both of you, one on each knee. My... She was like, I'm the female father Christmas. Because my mum was like, you sat on her lap. And I was like, she did offer. She offered an up close and personal. We didn't walk up and say, Alison, do you mind if I take a perch on your, on your lap there? Well, the most awkward thing that was when we walked in, Rob was going in with a handshake and I just hugged him. Oh, I know. And then thank God you did. because Yeah, because then everyone got a hug off. and then Josh was hugging Josh. And then on the end, he went for a handshake again. And I was like, what are you doing? I know. I then had to hug them all again. Yeah, we went for full hugs. Rob I loved and Josh it. as well, like just as nice in real life. Like, Amazing. Hilarious. So good. So quick. They're so good together. And actually, I've watched two episodes of Smart TV now and it's actually really funny. Yeah, of course it is because they're hilarious. I know. It feels like a bit of an odd premise for a TV show. It's a and bit like Mock the Week. Well, it's a quiz show. It is and it's fun and you forget all the like epic bits too. Like, I forgot how to take me out. No likey. No, no likey. So good. They're not show that anymore. I don't think so, no. Because oh, it's a bit misogynistic. Cause, well, everyone went off Paddy. Because he cheated on done. his wife. Babe, are you hot? Why have you put it on this cold aesthetic? Because oh. it gets hot in here. It gets yeah. so hot. I'd like to be toasty, not freezing. No, it was toasty. really fun and we came out and Charlie Marlowe was doing yeah, it Yeah, Charlie Marlowe was there, obsessed with her. So we went in, we set up everything and then we left and we didn't take our tripod out because she was using our tripod after us. We came out and we were like skipping and jumping and like heel clicking. And we were saying it's just like the most unbeatable feeling ever. Imagine coming out and not having anyone to heel click with. I know, we heel clicked big. Because it just and feels so... 
laughing at us. Yeah, yeah, the Sky Girls are all really laughing at us. But it's mega, like, as if we got to interview them. And also, like, Charlie Marlowe's been in the game a while and she's got huge numbers and she's so funny and, like, we were in the same room as her. Oh, mega. And Trotting Tom or whatever his name is. Tom Trotter. Tom Trotter. It was so funny because he came in his running gear and, I, like, obviously, Alice and Rob and Josh didn't really, like, get They're them. not on TikTok. And he they was like, get it. And he was like, yeah, can I go first because I'm on the run? And they were like, oh, mate, have you got somewhere to be? And he was like, yeah, my mum's got a shepherd's pie in the <laughs> He's so funny. If you didn't see his content, you'd be like, sorry, I'm so confused. Who is I mean, that to guy? be fair, babe, when we walked in, I did think, what's this guy doing here? I know. Have you trumped? Can you smell that? I swear to God, I haven't trumped. I actually would, of course, I would open up. I trump all the time. Can. Listen, I'm a normal person. <laughs> I trump all the time. I'm on the good people to know. I need to say a big thank you to all the galleys that have been in my DMs checking in on my audition. Thank I you know. so much, it got moved. I Luckily, must. we've got some guests today to pick <gasps> up. Babe. This is going to be awful, isn't it? Oh, the sound? Yeah. Yeah, well, sorry, everyone. Sorry, Enjoy guys. that audio experience. That must be really annoying for you. Yeah, we've got some guests. They're really, really well-respected in their own right. Yeah, um, they're really, really well-known. At the top of their game. <laughs> they... They're kind of like us. Yeah, literally. Romeo Beckham, babe! Oh my god, now's my chance! What, he's single? Yeah, he's broken up with Mimi, Mia Reagan, Mimi Moocher. They've broken up, he put up an Instagram post confirming. Babe, I feel like he's a bit young. Babe, who gives a fuck? He's a Beckham. Okay. I could shag him. He's Peter quite... Filia for a Beckham, Fine. He's quite sexy. No, babe, he's not that, he's not that young. He's in his 20s. <laughs> Isn't he like 21? No, I think he's like the same age as my sister, 24. Fine. Fine, this Fine. three years, babe. Babe, oh my god. I know, now's, I mean, god. now's my chance. I mean, if he wasn't Romeo Beckham, you wouldn't look at him twice. And he's a footballer. I could definitely be his work, babe. Okay, babe, well, why don't you slide in? Right, so if anyone has a contact for Romeo Beckham... Babe, you could just slide in. He's only got four mil. He'll see you in those DMs. Yeah, he's very good. Imagine babe. the amount of girls. He's only Babe, he pays for Brentford. Oh, that's quite big. Is it? Babe, Brentford what? FC? It's in the Premier League. Is it? Yeah. What, like Chelsea? Yes. Brentford? Yes. Liverpool? Yes. Brentford? Yes. Really? Yep. Brentford to me feels like a Fulham. Last season they did really, really well. How do you know these things? Because, babe, I don't know if you know who my boyfriend is. Oh, yeah, true. You know I have a fantasy football team and everything. Like, I actually know about Epic. football. And Epic. last year, guys, this is the best story I always tell this. Last year, I was on a fantasy football team with 18 boys, friends, boys, and I won. So good. I was the only Sorry, but girl. isn't he fantasy football kind of luck? Oh, uh, yeah, it is luck. Good luck. Yeah, it is luck. Sprinkle luck. You win some good goodies, don't you, if you're actually, like, really lucky. If you actually win fantasy football, you win like a hundred grand. So anyway, yeah, Romeo Beckham's um, out on the loose. If anyone sees him, oh if anyone God, babe, comes how are we going to get you to Romeo Beckham then? It's not that fair. Babe, it's not about the fit. Sorry, yeah, that it's was a bit about, vain, actually. about his last name. I don't think you've quite understood. Oh, yeah, no, that's way less shallow, actually. <laughs> that's... <laughs> Fuck the looks. It's yeah, about it's his last name. It's pure. It's pure. It's pure. I'm not going to marry him. Well, I suppose you should get to... What's the point if you don't marry him? You want the last name. No. That's the whole point. Well, I could just, like, go out with him. Now Mimi Mooch is so famous because she went out with Romeo Becker. Sure. Mm, you and Posh do. would get on quite well, I think. I think so, too, actually. I feel like you um, I'd like are similar her, in nature. I'd get all her free clothes. I agree. You know, I've met her. Oh, really? Well. At this, like, brunch that she was doing this for her collection. She is as stern in real life as you would expect. She's quite very, cold. She's not Alison Hammond, to put it sure. that way. She's not asking you to sit on her oh, knee. Oh, back to Alison Hammond. What a legend in the game. The thing is, Alison Hammond has done all of those things. Yeah, that's the difference. She's been in our that's scene. That's So she's so kind so and so like warm. the Rob Beckett's of the world. But he hasn't done press junkets. He's just like worked his but way up, his way I guess. Up from the shit pub in, you know. Our guest just texted me, gentleman's barista. It's where you can get your beard chopped and a coffee. No, why is she in there? Maybe, maybe she's picking up someone. Sexy. Maybe she's picking me up, Romeo. Beckham, you never know. That's crazy. Oh, everyone, do you like her? She looks like a show pony. Oh, yeah. Look at her show pony. <laughs> I heard you when you said that spot on. I do look like a little pony. Do, 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 do. My little pony, my little pony. Oh my god. I watched, you know, we got invited to that Netflix screening of that Can I Tell You a Secret documentary that we couldn't go to. Oh yeah. I binged it in one night. This story. What's it about? It's about this like stalker online. 
mind that like basically ruins like tens of girls lives by basically impersonating them a real person a real person one real person a boy yeah so like he would target you he would make a fake profile of you he would make a fake like replica of your instagram facebook whatsapp he would message people that you know breaking up your friends relationships like messaging like your friends boyfriends being like come meet me and like let's shag really like blowing up people's lives would post like all these pictures tip pics there was this one girl who was a model lingerie model she took these pictures with this photographer he messaged somehow got this photographer's number messaged as her yeah being like hey can you send me across those pictures when it wasn't her it was this random guy obviously the photographer doesn't know thinks like because it looks real yeah and it's like guys like oh yeah of course i'll send them across the photographer this guy has all of her lingerie pictures and he's like putting them everywhere sending them to like her best friend's husband and stuff it's mental and he's done this to like tens of girls no. watch it it's mad and i just what's it called can i tell you a secret did they get him for like what do you get him for fraud stalking and harassment it's now like a creating the social doesn't feel like stalking but i guess he's stalking you digitally he's stalking and like he knew where they lived babe he would text them being like nice car that you're washing like this girl was no. like at, at, at the what drive through washer babe, we genuinely i'm not even joking oh we're targets we're you sitting need dark. to be a little bit careful like they always say like you shouldn't post when you're somewhere yeah. you should wait until you get home yeah because it is quite scary no it is scary oh i don't like the idea of having a stalker no but what's so fascinating is that like what does he he didn't make any money out of it there's it's just no, like a power trip there's, there's no game you have to be really really well, you feel a bit mentally unwell maybe oh it's so bad it actually really scares me i've got so many irrational fears like that and definitely having a stalker like i was feeling so prangy last night this morning walking home from the station and walking to the station this morning really felt like i was being followed why but i wasn't i get that just a feeling what you mean have my keys at, in my hand like ready look over your shoulder like yeah i time. did guys finally getting my hair done tomorrow at larry king and don't we all fucking know it oh my god sorry sorry don't be jealous no i'm not being jealous i'm saying first of all we must put 12 pieces of pasta in the jar for the other day all the girls okay are on us about. sorry also babe do you want one of these fig rolls yeah i do I'm scared she's about to faint i go into my diary thinking oh what have i got all on friday in there at 11 a.m g hair in our shared calendar that our management can also see just so that everyone knows that she'll I be say true because everyone keeps putting things in when I'm trying to get my fucking hair done mm -hmm. babe no offense to you love you lot there were more important things happening at the time that you were not if everyone had done their job right they wouldn't have been sorry sorry about it do you know what I mean a girl should be able to get her hair done for free <laughs> God, they're good, aren't they? I do need something savoury. But again, I can't eat that cake. They weren't very like sweet though. Look, that carrot cake was so sweet. I'm sorry, I hate it when you do that. What? I it found it was sweet. <laughs> what do you mean I hate it when you do that? My you... taste buds told me in my brain. I'll only eat something like that tastes like dirt. <laughs> like the bottom <laughs> of a match, and she'd be like, mm, it's just too sweet. <laughs> And it'll honestly be soil. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, what, where? I think these are the perfect level of sweetness. See, I think these are quite sweet. Maybe God, taste buds are really like, no, dodge, I, aren't they? So oh, that's why babe, babe, you want to move. Babe, I can see the green light, thank you. Ew. Ew. I hate it when I hate it when you do that because I just think do you think I'm fucking blind? Yeah, because you were fanning around looking at me and I didn't want you to miss it. I'm keeping you alert, keeping you moving. No, no, Mr. Bus. Only time for a day. Oh my god, get the girl a Mars bar. Is it a Mars bar? No, Snickers, sorry. You're not you without a Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Get some nuts to roam. I think I've got lymph something. I've got like, it's so painful here. It's just your glance. But it's not on both sides. No, it shouldn't be on both sides. All the way down here. I've got a lump in my throat that I've had for three, four years. Which do you want to feel it? That I know, it's like a... No, 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 it's a pee. If it was a marble, then they'd do something about but it. But it hasn't grown, so that's fine. Yeah, exactly. Can you feel it? Gross. Yeah, it's wicked, really isn't it? <laughs> the doctor, when I went, said he thinks it might be nickel poisoning from one of my piercings. I went into Whole Foods yesterday. My favourite place on earth. Guess how much a tub of mango is? Mango? Oh, normal size tub of mango. Random thing to buy. No, no, I didn't buy it. I'm going to say $7.50. $14.99. Seven fifty was going high! <laughs> $14.99. What and the it was hell? honestly this big. Yeah. I don't know what they're, are they putting crack cocaine in that mango or what? But I just do think who's buying that? I know there are rich people here, but even rich no, people but wouldn't rich, buy that. I think they would. I think they don't even look. Those richies, they put it in the trolley, they Those move Those fucking richies. Those richies. You're one of them. Those richies. No, I'm not rich enough to be spending 15 quid on a bit of mango. I'm sorry, if anyone's doing a weekly shop at Whole Foods and you're earning too much money, me? you must stop. I'd like that to be me one day, so. Roger, Roger, go on. Oh, this is what she's doing all the time at the moment. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. When 
am I? Hey. Just now when we were in the Volvo. Oh. In the Volvo, look at us. We were just in the Volvo, not to worry. Why have I written down ethical non-monogamy? <laughs> My gay. Here come the popo. It's the sound of the police. We did go to this gig last night. This is hilarious. We went to this gig. This guy. The crowd was funny, wasn't Dylan it? Dylan Gossett, yeah. This country Nashville guy. Is he from Nashville? He's from Texas. Is it Nashville in Texas? Oh, is it? Yeah. Lol. Mm. God, it's such a hard life being thick. Nashville is the capital most popular city in the US say... state of Tennessee! And why does it say, is Nashville in the state of Texas? That top question. So what's the capital of Texas then? Austin, yeah. Texas. Austin! My you cousin lives there, I should know that. God, she... I'm not as thick as I thought I was! No, by the way, babe, my cousin lives in Austin. You know Texas is like, they hate abortion, blah, blah, yeah. blah. And yeah, she... but then have you seen all this stuff about how now they're stopping people being able to do IVF? Yeah, I've seen that. In and those deep south their, states. And destroy their... So now it's are. like, oh, you believed in not having abortion, but IVF was working for you, so you liked that. Come on. Okay, should we stop this now then and then start again when they get back in? Yeah. Love you, bye. Hello, mummy. Hello. Hello, Hello guys. Hello, mummies. Do we need to say who's here? <laughs> yes. yes. Oh my God, who's this? It's fairly obvious. <laughs> no, go on. This is my mum behind me, Linda. Linda Reed. Ali, would you like to introduce this your mother? This is my mum behind me, Sheila. 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 Sheila and Linda. <laughs> thank you so much for doing yeah, thank this. thank you. Oh, you want the air? So How do you feel, mum? A bit flushed? I'm okay now. It's <laughs> flushed gorgeous. like I'm having, like I'm having a hot flush. No, you don't look hot flushy. We've well, got the light on you, so it can be quite intense. Oh, Oh yes, you'll have to dip down the colour if I am. All right, I'll dip down the colour, don't worry about it. I'll make sure the colour's dipped down. <laughs> Why have you both got presents for us then? Oh, look at them, they're so sweet, the little, little bags. <laughs> with her you hands wanna, in the bags. Yeah, we bought you some presents. I'm going to let Mummy Reed do it first. Okay, go on, okay. Mummy Reed. Uh, which way round oh, did this... I do it? Sorry, this is a Mother's Day app and we didn't get you anything. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Uh, right, so yes, bad. I think this is the right way around, but you'll soon be able to tell. Oh yeah, I've got to be the leopard print. Oh, look, it matches. Yes. Oh, sweet. Oh, thank you, Linda. What the hell? Oh, oh my god, what is it? Oh my, oh my god, god, a bangle! So so cool. Oh my god, I love it. Wait, the date? For today? For yesterday? What does yes. that mean? You launched. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Mum, there's no way I'm getting this on. Oh, no, I am. Oh, yours is going to fall off. Oh, I got a small as well. Oh, my God, look at her wrist. But I've got, like, baby-sized wrists. No, but that's okay, because you could put it on no, a key no, ring no. or something. No, no, I think that's yeah. really No, sweet. I think you should wear it up the arm. Hey, babe, I think I could wear it as a cuff. Yeah. And I just could sort of, like, a gladiator. So good. Thanks, oh, Mama. That's so, so sweet. sweet. That's you launched. Yeah. That's well, so funny. I also funny. thought you launched, and I also thought you could dangle other things off it when you do something yeah. else. Oh, very, oh, very good. So every time... Time. Well, you can really dangle sweet. away. And you we can get an extra small. Do you give us an extra small? Really good. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. extra small might be. Yeah. Whereas I'll have to dislocate my thumb. To... Babe, no, don't be so ridiculous. No, I will, because I've got a really wide. This no, part of my hand is so yes. wide. No, I think this that's perfect. perfect. Thank you so, thank you so much. much. I love it. I love it. Good. Very, very thoughtful. Thanks, Mama. Thank yeah. you so much. It's so kind of you. Now I'm going to give you mine. Want she Because I had a chat with these two girls last week, and we were talking about their incredible journey. This is the year. Of the dragon yes, and the dragon is meant to be a year of, which is why i'm wearing my dragon brooch yeah you must have the yeah. dragon brooch <laughs> my dragon brooch i wanted to say to both girls very well done so far so let's hope you continue to rise monumentally yeah, yeah, god yeah. willing we yeah, all need yeah. a bit of luck in our lives right so yeah. this is just little symbols of luck <gasps> oh, i love it oh, they are matching so you can both oh wear my god it. sweet i love matching how we get everything the same matching. these days so I love sweet it. i love it Irish luck. Oh my god, I must oh get it on. I get it on right now. I love it. I yes. absolutely love it. Green is the colour of now. Uh, yes. you know. Of now? Oh my gosh, very yeah. good. Babe, I think you're a brooch girl now. I think maybe I'm a brooch girl. Yeah. I don't want to put it on because I am going to return this. I am too, but do you think that's a problem? Why are you going to return it? Because I bought it last night just to wear today and I'm going to return it to Mass Duty. We'll, we'll have to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to cut waistcoat. <laughs> my waistcoat that I'm wearing. Oh, I see. Oh, ladies, thank you. No, I can't. Just dangle it on your chain. No, maybe I'll just put it just here. Just dangle it on your no, chain. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, look perfect. perfect. Yeah, but make sure that button's done up. No, babe, I've done that on purpose. I want them to think I'm sexy. You want your teeth out. Pin it on your skin. Really good. Oh, Guys, yeah. I actually can't believe we didn't get you anything. That's, That's so, so bad. bad. Oh, that's outrageous. What didn't even say? listen. I thought we brought them up properly. I know. <laughs> no, you actually I know. didn't. We failed. We were dragged up. We failed. No, but listen, can I just say, you're not getting anything today, but in 10 years when we're... Yeah, when we're 10 years. 10 years. I should is. come a lot sooner than that. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping by next year. Yes. I reckon or five. By the end of this year. Can
And <laughs> everyone hang around for five. Is yeah. everyone feeling well enough you for five? Yes, you could get like a Birkin or a car in five years, maybe. If yeah. You, if you're really lucky. Okay. Linda wants an Aston Martin, don't you, babe? Oh, I do actually. DB9. Yeah, oh, I know. It's an old man car. DB9 isn't an old man car. Five well, we best years. get oh. working, babe. DB9. DB9. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. How much are they? It's a pretty cool car. Cool. And it needs to be in British Racing Green. Yeah, it has to be a very. I love green. Oh, you love a green? Love a green. British Racing Green. And everyone wonders where we get our. Good mum, you're going to look like James Bond. Such yeah. a James no, no, Bond no, no. car. The DB9 is super, super, super sexy. Super, super sexy. Has that. I'm yeah. sorry to tell you, it's actually not the best car. Best. It breaks down all the time. It's not the best to drive, yeah. to be but fair. You just like, to look right. Because you just want to whiz around in it. With That's the thing, if you're just going to Tesco and back, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's you not going to, far. It's a statement yeah, right. car. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to work. It doesn't work. matter that it does not It's a statement We're buying you a fucking Aston Martin. We'd hope that you weren't going to work. My God. Yeah, for God's sake. Are they about a hundred grand? And everyone wonders where we get our delusion from. My God. You want a hundred grand? Grandy, your handy grand car. Guys, sorry, don't you think she looks like a show pony with her hair? Yes. <laughs> a, a beautiful show pony. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Sheila. Very <laughs> kind <laughs> of you. The issue is, the issue is, of course, that she's allergic to horses. I am allergic to horses. So that's yeah. no good, is it? I'm very highly allergic, actually. Yeah. And cats, so we can't. I can't ever have a cat now. She's just really ruined that for me. You could get a hypoallergenic cat. There's no such thing. Well, what about just, those hairless just ones? Wear, make sure you just wear a mask. Yeah, I just yeah. wear a mask. I just won't touch the cat. A mask in my house all the time. Oh, like, I hey, suit. You know, just put one. Then you'll be. Fine. Yeah, then then I'll be it. safe from any illnesses, yeah, anything. Yeah, Great. So everyone, yes. everyone, we wanted to ask the good people, the galleys, what we they wanted to ask our mums, and they work. sent in so many. I can't even tell you. We're filming drive through with our mums. You're ask, the mums. Ask, really? No. You're the mums, guys. We're the kids. <laughs> Best ways for mothers to get closer with daughters without crossing boundaries. I mean, I don't think we have any boundaries. Do I don't we? Think we do. I don't have any boundaries. <laughs> no, we're boundaryless sadly so no but boundaries, no but people have different boundaries like some people might not want to talk to their mum about like their dating life for yeah and that yes. might whereas be we were let's say for example you're someone that wants to get close to your mum but you don't want her to like know the intricacies of your life mm. how would you suggest doing that basically maybe finding like joint hobbies so you could do something together that you like oh, to do would you they know? want to do that with the we both enjoy drinking wine and eating so we could just do that <laughs> together i don't like doing anything with that honey, no. <laughs> Mommy, that is fake <laughs> <laughs> Can we leave it? She's She's you love it. No. She's utterly dull. Sheila, you were at that Chanel exhibition tomorrow, yeah, having the time of your life. Tomorrow? Yesterday. I'm quite a good actor. I can put on quite a good sort of look of happiness. <laughs> Enjoyment. Basically. Yeah. But in yeah. fact, inside. No, of come life. on, be real. <laughs> be real. You had the best time ever. I'm being real. She always has the best time I think, ever with George, me. if you think back when you were sort of 15. I knew. Didn't I tell you she'd bring up how much of a nightmare I was when I was a teenager? Go oh, really? on. The first time we sort of got together and had a real proper talk after difficult times, we went out for some lunch Do and wine. I remember that. Really, and it really was good. Clear all the air. Not talk about it necessarily, but just communicate. I think it's just communication. We always talk about this. If you can't communicate through words, find a different way to talk to yeah. someone. Is that actions? Is that like even just like sitting in the kitchen when you don't want mm. to? You are right about different stages of life. Like obviously when I was a teenager, I didn't want to share anything with you. Whereas now I want your insight and I want your company. I guess it's just like holding on throughout those periods of time where you might be like further apart or not leaning in. Funny stories from Ali and G's child. Childhoods! <laughs> Mum, don't laugh like that. I knew what you were going to do when you were bought your microphone for your birthday. It was all multicolours and you had your microphone and you sang and told jokes into it. And at the bottom, you had a little footstep that you'd press for clapping and cheering. Oh. <laughs> and did I clap and cheer myself every time? Every time. <laughs> that, that is actually on video and it is That's so great. funny. Because I was telling my mum a knock-knock joke and my mum kept getting it wrong, although she was getting it right. But in my mind she wasn't doing it right so I'd be like knock knock and my mum would go who's there and I'd go no mummy and then I'd have to start again and then eventually I just was so bored of her I just did the punchline and then I just clap myself and then I go again put foot down clap babe if you don't get a response from people in real life clap clap, 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 clap I need one of them now yeah, I know. a little laugh I'd quite I enjoy <laughs> really good good story mummy so Ali when I first brought Lizzie back home the baby Ali, Ali was so excited and she brought little pieces of biscuits and started sort of putting in Lizzie's mouth <laughs> thinking she was you know Eat, baby, eat. I nearly had a heart attack. No, Ali, leave. 
leave the freaking baby alone. <laughs> I would like count down the days. Mummy would be like, in two weeks and one day you can have a bath with her. And like, oh. I would be like so desperate. Anyway, then the first time we had a bath, she did poo in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> She was just a little baby, like kicking her legs, oh, you know. And she just did a little poo. Ali was four. Ali was four, you know. Oh. And I was like so desperate to play with her, and like all of our pictures of in our childhood of me over her cot, like. <laughs> yes, she, was, she was always crowding for Lizzie's space. Yeah. Oh, so oh. sweet. Well, Georgie hasn't got a sister, I know, yeah. so I used to have a bath with Georgie. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but she didn't poo, did she? No, she didn't poo. No, no, she just lay on my chest. Oh. How is it being an only child? I don't know any different, really. I've got cousins. Well, I've got four cousins on my mum's side. Did you ever wish I like, had someone to play with? No, I don't no, remember I wishing to. that. There's another bit about Ali, which I don't think anybody knows. <laughs> Ali is a terrible, terrible runner. So <laughs> she, at school sports day, she was always the last. Oh, like, hey! like she already got like, come on, Ali, get to the finishing line. <laughs> everybody had finished 10 minutes before her, you know? Why were you so I bad at so running? Bad. I don't know yeah. why. Just not bothered. You know, I was always the last. You've got a like, leisurely pace. I'm with yeah. them as well. The thing is, she had very long arms and legs. She, she was quite gangly. And if you could equate Ali to a dog, it would be a... Afghan house. Oh, Afghan house. Yeah, she was yeah. all hair oh. and gangly, <laughs> and she was like just. You know, just running as though she was out for a there walk. Was, yeah, there was no urgency. And I'd be, come on, Ali, you can so do this, you know? So good. <laughs> you know, at Wickham, it was worse. We had these twins. They were quite Ireland. serious. No, babe. They were like, I mean, they were in everything. They were the fastest. They won every sports trophy you could ever win. And their mum was like so competitive. You know, like the sports tennis mum that's like, she's yeah. Yeah, I wasn't competitive in sports because I knew you were. No, no, but it was just really funny really. because mommy would still be like, woo! Oh, come on, Ali! You can and she's do right this. at the back, just being yes. such a slug. Which reminds me that, oh, of God. course, Sharon Davis, sports person, she's a swimmer. She said to me one day, she said, Linda, she said, I think Georgie would be a great shot putter. Oh, Georgie oh. was so but angry. Do you want to know? Have you watched them do shot put? I know. It was a crazy sport. It's all right. Sharon did say she would put you in touch with someone oh. to get you to peak condition. Oh, I wouldn't mind being a shot putter. Really? Peak condition? Did you just hear that? Peak condition. Oh, what now? Then. This all fails. Maybe this I could get back into it. I think goal. it was because of your shoulders. She liked your shoulders. Sharon would be aware of your shoulders because she's got good <laughs> yeah. shoulders for yeah, a swimmer. She has strong swimming, strong shoulder, swimming yeah. shoulders. Guys, this is a really good one. If you'd known us when you were our age, do you think we'd be friends? I would jog on by. <laughs> 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 Sheila would be like, no, thank you, no I'm not hanging way. out with you two oh, No, oh, mummy is like... Think... My mum's obsessed with me, yes, she would be one. Oh. Well, no, I would be looking at her going, I oh, wish I was a friend. Oh. No, mama. Oh. I'd be in a corner going, no. Oh, you weren't a loser, you had all the boys at school. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't a loser, thank what God. Is, who's told you this? All you, the boys. You were friends with all the boys at school. I was friends you? with boys, yeah. You were friends with boys. None of the girls wanted to be my friend. No, no mom. except for Shelley. 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 Mum, I think Shelly. we would be friends. Well, you'd be the cool girl. No, sure. I'm sorry, you've actually really misjudged her there. She's really not very cool at all. <laughs> I know. No, I, I am think to, she's cool. I am to other people. I don't Do you know, know that? Where you've got that idea. You've got confused. Cool. I'm really cool. <laughs> anyway, she would be too busy jogging up to me. Yeah, absolutely. She's jogging up to me. Right past you and jogging. No, can I tell you? Yeah, something? nice one, Sheila. I like actually, it. Mummy's actually quite like a teacher's pet. Vibe. How do you mean? Like, like you like do everything like on time and properly, and like you're oh, not I like know. you're like a bit. You were a bit of a nerd. <gasps> yeah. A nerd. Yeah. Just saying, I don't think we would have been friends for that reason because you're not. Because you're too sort of flippity jibbity. I think I'm a bit of a loose cannon. No, you're a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila, I'm glad you're around to bring her back down to earth. It's yes. really good to have you here. Actually, if you could come every week, that'd be great. I'm happy, happy to. Have you noticed any changes? in Ali or G since starting the drive through oh dear, since we became hashtag famous. Oh, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, more insufferable. <laughs> <laughs> More. more, more. How oh, could she be more? How could I ever? Been insufferable before, but now she's like, Mommy, way, way, way. This is actually a hate campaign against me. <laughs> this is such fake news. She lives in a safe place. She's like, I'm gonna get it all out now, whatever. <laughs> Here it is. By the way, in lockdown, you were obsessed with me, and we were like BFFs every no, single day. Right. Yes, mommy. Thought, <laughs> no, you sorry. La -la How good was lockdown? That yeah. was my favorite, Mum. I would go back to lockdown tomorrow. I know. Yeah. This is the best. It was the best time. It was good time. It was the good. only downside was Ali, Ali was there. <laughs> yeah. We were really on the gins, weren't we, babe? Yeah, we were on the gin, oh, really? and we were doing the weekly cooking classes. Yeah, we did it with the neighbours on Zoom. Do you know what? One thing about where they live. Um, and I also live with your dad, so not. Oh, where my dad Ali. too. <laughs> <laughs> And my dad. I don't know whether you noticed. Yeah. He's not dead yet. He's no. not dead yet. He's in hospital, but not dead. <laughs> <laughs> God, Willie. 
Yeah, they have Calvary. a great, great community, don't you? Yeah, we like do. Like if you're ever snowed in, someone will go to Tesco for you. This is a good question. Go on. What was the hardest part of raising a girl? She had to. It was all hard. Yeah, there it was, was no it. Good bits to it. Um, <laughs> no, the good bits come now, Sheila, because girls are better older, don't you think? Yeah, we yes. always say this, otherwise you'd just be all alone and no one would look yeah, after no, you. Yeah, no, actually, I sort of jest about it, but I actually sure. enjoy it. Sure. Well, that's good. <laughs> okay. I, I hope it's a joke. Let's hope that's just. Otherwise, Sheila, yeah. otherwise I'm fucked. I think it was a real joy having raising girls. I mean, I, I have no experience of raising boys. So yeah, I that's true, no, true. No, but I think, don't they say that you lose your boys because yeah. they get married and they move on? They move on. They then become involved in the wife's family mm. whereas wife's i think family, girls yeah. come home don't they, they come home yeah go on mum here's your moment tell me how horrible it was to have a teenage daughter well when i think back now <laughs> it wasn't all that long <laughs> that i hated you <laughs> <laughs> But at the time, it felt a long time. That you you and I hated each other? I think so. And I think the worst thing of it is, it's not about our relationship, how hard that was. It was about other people's opinion of our relationship. Really? It was really? hard for me. Did you get really? some judgment? They yeah, they judgment, yeah, saying, Who from? You need, like, the rain village. Rain or... The village. You mean everybody had an armchair opinion about But I think what daughters. helped me there was that because I was the oldest of the group of friends, I got through my difficulties. And then what happened was, they all started going through theirs. Oh, really? And I was like, Sitting there going, Told yes, you so. Yeah. You were now, and now you yeah. think yeah. it's so You're you think, it yeah. back. Well, did they think that you were just too loose with me? Yes. Fair, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Well, it was hard. I she's... have never in my life experienced discipline at home, no. <laughs> I would say no. That's because you're an only child. They Maybe just, like, like let oh, everything few times think... from my dad. Can I say she's something? Saying she's saying she'd like to Speak your her... piece, baby girl! She'd like to, she'd like to defend her discipline. I, I think I'd like to say something here. We would, <laughs> I would sit and negotiate rather than yes. shout. It was an open forum, but we I was never it. dictated to. No. My dad once tried to ground me. I remember he'd grounded me. I can't remember what I did. I do. You were drinking in the municipal gardens in Chelsea. <laughs> in the beer gardens. Yeah, I was drinking white lightning in the beer gardens and I told them I was somewhere else. I don't know. Most it's of the time minute. you knew what I was doing because I just knew that you cared but would rather know. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I got really pissed probably and, I, and my dad was like, you're grounded. And the first time I'd ever been grounded, I was like 16 or something. He's like, put his foot down and big man of the house. Anyway, the next day, it was like a Saturday and he was washing the car outside, I remember, and I went outside and I was like, Dad, I'm just going over to Emma's. And he was like, okay, love, see you when you're back. <laughs> I left, went to my friend Emma's in the village, stayed there for hours, got home. My mum was like, I can't believe your father let you out. You're meant to be grounded. And then my dad was like, is that what it means? And my mum was like, yes, it means she can't go out on the weekend. And he was like, oh, oh dear. I think the thing is as well, G, that I would say is that you couldn't lie to me. No, I never lied. So if I Even if I tried question, to lie. Yeah. So if I said to you, look, George, is there anything you want to tell me about yesterday? And you would go, blur. Tell yeah. me everything. Yeah. Very good. I think it I'm was not a, a very bit good different liar. because like, we both went to boarding school. Yeah. So it is a bit different mm. that it's like on the weekends, you're either, I mean, like, especially when we were teenagers, like we would go to London a lot and like see our friends and see all the boys that we wanted to see. And oh, Sheila, yeah. she was out with the boys, was she? And, but we didn't really have any <laughs> discipline about like, no, you can't do that. Or no, you must come home or like. Yeah, I was fairly relaxed, I think. I knew that you girls had to be girls. Not in a wild way. Having said that, both Ali and Lizzie were very, very, disciplined and they weren't wild you know they were good kids and so I didn't have to be that strict with them they knew where the boundaries were I made very mm -hmm. clear think about as a young woman think about how your behavior how mm -hmm. it impacts on others and so they were very aware and highly emotionally aware of themselves I didn't have that much to do in terms of being a disciplinarian also mm -hmm. it's quite telling for you guys like that's just a huge amount of trust yes. which is a really that, nice yeah, thing yeah. that instills and actually, independence I think that really underlines a lot of my relationship with my girls there's a lot of trust mm -hmm. you know and if I don't see them for a period, I know that because they're busy, it's not because they don't want to talk to me. Mm. And I always know that they always come back and yes. want to talk to me or ask yeah, my opinions need or whatever. You. So it's always a two-way flow. Mm. But I think, yeah, trust is very fundamental in our Because I have a friend whose mum, like, didn't trust her an inch. Like, we would go out and she would have to call her mum, like, every 15 yeah. minutes. It was insane. And, like, obviously then what ends up happening is she lies to her 24-7. All, the time. Yes, all the time. And now it's like, it's even the same now and how old are we? And now it's like, I can't wait to get rid of her. And that's a relationship that you don't want with your children is like I've suffocated you so intensely that now you actually don't even want to you want to escape a, yeah me. which is the worst yeah. yeah and I think as well if you let your children make their own mistakes yes. they learn quicker. yeah I think one of the most important things I think hopefully parents can teach their children is how to make decisions mm. you 
because mm. I think too often we as parents, you know, we try to make our children's for decisions them. for them. And actually they, they don't know how to make decisions. So often I see a lot of children going back to my mom, what should I do about this? Mom, should, what should I do about that? You know, instead of the mom saying, well, actually, what do you think? Yeah, what put it back you on think? you, give some yeah. autonomy. Yeah, what do you think? And let the child make the decision, even if it's a wrong decision, it's yeah. the decision that they, you can steer them. Mm -hmm. But if they still make that decision and they make a mistake, they will never then, make that mistake again. Never. But they will learn how to make better decisions. So true. It's actually so true. I can imagine it's quite difficult to hold your tongue at times yeah. there and to watch when totally. you've yeah. learned that lesson we're yourself back, we're already. Back to trust. We're back yeah. to trusting that children will be okay. Guys, sorry, I've just had a message about the podcast. Come on. We launched at number 35 in the chart. What? We're Wait. above the Mel Robbins podcast. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> What the hell? And that class, can't be number right. one. Number one is Louis Theroux. I love Louis Theroux. <laughs> Do you know, girls? I think the Irish. <laughs> the I know you will Irish. Irish luck is pouring in. It's got to be the luck of the Irish. Come on, the galleys. Come on, the galleys. <laughs> Can I say another thing as well? Sure. As you I should, Linda. Actually, needed when Georgie was like 15. I actually needed she Sheila then because actually Georgie was really good at arguing with me <laughs> and winning. <laughs> So I would think, God, I must be so stupid because my daughter is running Why, because you felt weak? Around me. No, because I felt like you won the argument a lot. Sure. And I didn't win it. And I was thinking, God, I need to get better at this, yeah. at this. But, you know, that's quite normal as well. A lot of parents, mothers say to me, you know, my children are so lippy and they're so, so good at arguing. But actually, it's because they, they're quite wise by the yes. time they're, you know, by the time compared, they get to, to, compared to when we were children. You yes, know, we weren't exposed didn't know anything. to so much stuff. They are exposed to so much culture and yeah. debate debate and discussion so they, they are sort of smarter in terms of how they conduct them. That is yeah, so that true is and the conversation yeah, that yeah. we have now like you guys didn't you didn't have podcasts in your ears when you were teenagers. Media, yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, you're social... bombarded with so much stuff that yeah. you sift through very quickly and you hang on to stuff that you yeah. want to hang on to. And we were we more didn't... insular because yeah. you only had your social group yeah. and, 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 and obviously I, 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 it was a different in, totally stricter different environment, environment yeah, as well. I grew up in the jungles of Malaysia. How can you compare the experience? experience to your experience yeah, right 100 yeah. i think you'll make they'll make good mums though won't they because they've learned we'll from be us. there to guide them. well obviously <laughs> yeah. Yeah. i think together. you might need to heaven obviously, guide them well, no, gonna gonna talking to us yeah. saying babe yeah. do you really want to hold the baby Sheila, like how old were you when you had your <laughs> first really i had ali at 30 yeah. and mama you were 30, 36 36 were yeah mama was old yeah. oh wow oh well yeah. there's hope for all of us then oh yeah yeah but you have to marry an old man yeah. Sheila, there is a good one for you and al to talk about adjusting with blending families Families like oh, stepdads yeah, we and stepbrothers yeah. and stuff. Good idea. How do you adapt to blending families? So stepdads and if there's any siblings. That's a very good question. I mean, James was a very good stepdad. He recognised that when he came into this family, he was an outsider mm. because the three of yeah. us had been the three musketeers for you know. so long. So he knew that he, he knew just, the state of play. Yeah. He, he wasn't just gonna butt in, and, and he respected that and yeah. he respected hugely. Him. So whenever the three of us were together, he'd always pull himself away. Even now. Now he's, even like now he's like this. Oh, like even you know, when we go on holiday, friends? he'll just like. He's got, he got a month for me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he sounds Mama, ideal. My dad is not dead and still <laughs> lives <laughs> under your roof. So you best keep your well, knickers you on. A minute yeah. ago, my yeah. woman. <laughs> keep your knickers on. <laughs> Outrageous. No, he Who does sound like a great man. The difference is that he didn't have kids. Because if he had had kids, it would have been different. I think that also helped. Like, I can't true. answer the question. Because then you've got to blend the children. Yeah. And that can be more yeah. complicated. Yeah. yeah. He loves us more than she loves us. Yeah, it's true. Oh, isn't that a true nice. story? Whenever we go to any dinner party or whatever, <laughs> he's always busy telling everybody about the children. I never say anything about the children. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila, I can't shut up. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mama, all you yeah. talk about is me. I, I swear really to God. God to get a personality. Oh, no, People no. must he's surely go. Has she got anything else to talk about? Oh, really? That's what they must no, think. I, I, I'm completely stum about the kids. Yeah, that's I'm actually fit, mummy. Shut up <laughs> again. Hate campaign. This is fake news. <laughs> fake news. That's true. This yeah. is pure fake news. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, but James would go and tell people, "Oh, it is amazing," <gasps> and he would show them pictures of the stepdaughters, and they would Sweet. say, "And by the time they've come to meet me, they said, oh, 'Oh, we've heard all about your children,' etc." I said, "Really? Really? Oh, okay. it's really yeah, sweet." But I guess. 
guess then it's about how you communicate that if the partner isn't like that innately. Yeah. I guess you just have to communicate that, you know, this I has been us and this is the way we function and your integration might have to be a little bit slower. I think as a child as well, like it's something that you resist the idea of it for a long time and it's just, you don't have to like them in two weeks. So mm. you might hate them for two years. That's not hate, but like it might take there three years test. to like to get feel really to comfortable. Them. Yeah, and that's just okay. Yeah. And yeah. Don't let anyone make you feel like you've got to be their best friend in six months. It doesn't work yeah. like that. Like, you know, they're living in your house and like it's all new. It's all really weird and new and like it's still a bit awkward and you bump into them in the kitchen and like, yeah. you know, like because you don't know them yeah, yet. Exactly. So like don't expect it to all be sunshine and roses after a year. It, also, it, it you probably be. have to like curate your own relationship with, with them. them rather than just inheriting one because, you know, yeah. your mum loves them. James never tried to be our dad mm. and it's like yeah. you can't assume that role or like as a child you can't expect him to assume that role like if you're looking for him to do that or her to do that he or she might not be able to yeah. do that for yeah. you so he never disciplined the children you know that no. he left all the disciplining yeah. to me and the opposite actually because he, he's, he's not their father right? yeah so he never really had any discipline either god honestly maybe that's why we've ended up doing this ladies what because the discipline was a little the bit lacking in our lacking. childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Hold on a minute. No, no, I'm, well, I'm I think our mums have done a pretty good no, job. No, no, I'm yeah. saying I'm, that's a good thing that we weren't disciplined too Yes, because look what's happened. Because we're free spirits. We had free roam of whatever yeah. we wanted to be. Could be. Could be. Sorry, there are two questions here. No, I've got a really good one. No, I've got two that go as a pair. Fine. So this I'll one is next. for them and then one is for us. Ooh. So this one is your best advice to a daughter. I would say nothing is sexier or more wow than a lady who rocks back for self-confidence and self-esteem. Amen, Sheila, amen. It's actually the sexiest thing you can wear. Self-confidence, self-esteem, self-love. That's what I would say to all the women. <clears throat> if you can grow your self-confidence and rock it, mm. you will go far in life. Do you have any advice for like tips how, to, how do to do that? If someone goes, oh my God, mine's on the floor. How can I get confident in myself? The first thing you gotta do is recognize what your strength is. Yeah. Good. Okay. If you know you're good, even if it's making a good grilled sandwich, cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just know, yeah. I'm, a, I'm an ace I'm brilliant yeah, sandwich maker. You know, and, and every time friends come in, you sort of roll out this grilled sandwich. <laughs> Don't worry, girls, it's the cheese toasty again. And it's the best you'll ever have. And everybody's gagging for it. You know? Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah, yeah. also, you say it with your chest, and then yeah. they're like, yeah, God, that really is the yeah. best cheese sandwich I've ever yeah. had. Yeah. Just, just know what your strength is and understand what your weakness is and work on that. Yeah. And if you can do that and be persistent and consistent, you can do it. So that's you've got so to good. believe in yourself. You've yeah. got to believe yeah. in yourself because yeah. nobody else is going to believe yeah. in yourself, in you, Come as yeah. much as so you do. You've really got to build that self-confidence. Yeah. And I don't think I had any when I was at school. I yeah. think that you've got to keep building it because if you don't, nobody else is going to stand there and do it for you. Yeah. So I think the, the, the sort of motto is be your biggest be, cheerleader. Yeah, yeah. Be, be your, your biggest, biggest cheerleader. cheerleader. Yeah. I think that while you're young, mm. I think you should try and aim for what you want to do and go for it. I agree. Even if you've tried and it's failed, fine. At least you could never look back and say, I, I never tried try that. Yeah, good one, I think Mama. you've got to look back and say, well, I tried. I tried to be a journalist yeah. on the Times and I didn't get there, but at least I tried. Yes. I tried. I agree. But I think one of the reasons why a lot of people are scared of trying is because they don't like getting out of their comfort zone. Yeah, right? yeah And the failure. Yeah. But that also is linked to confidence. So if you are mm. confident, you think, mm. actually, I'm happy to try this or I'm happy to try yeah. that. It all comes back to self-confidence and self-belief mm. and, you know, as you said, belief in yourself. So then I guess then the mummies need to be for the girlies. Yeah. They need to be giving them that confidence. Yeah. So well, feel confident. That you can pushing do them, you saying yes, of course you can do that. Themselves being the role models. Yeah. It's no good saying to the girl, go and do such and such, but she's quite happy to sort of step back and not do anything. Yeah, yeah. So she's also got to be out there, yeah. you know, rocking her own self-confidence. So true. And I think that does happen a lot, doesn't it, when you're younger? Mm. Like Georgie, if I used to say something to you and say, why don't you go and do that? Or why don't you go yeah. and apply? Why don't you think of that? You go, mom. no. This is classic mum. <laughs> Will you just ring Chris Evans? <laughs> just, just <laughs> ring. Bring him. We'll just, I can't see what we'll the problem just is. Call, we'll just call Alison Hammond. Just call <laughs> I her. never said that. I, I know. Do. And you're right. No, you are right. What you do a lot when you're young, you go, no, 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 no. That's what you do. Yeah. Because so like, you think my, you know the best way. So my dad said to me when I was young, he said to me, oh, they're auditioning for a new soap drama on the telly. Just Brookside. Just up the road. Brookside. Linda, do you want to go and apply for it? So he <laughs> said, go to the audition. It's open. And I said, no, like you do. And he was going,
don't know. Go. Here it is. I'll drive you there. You didn't go. And I go no. You could have been on Brookside, and then you'd have kept your scouse no, accent. Actually, babe, and then you would be a nepo baby, and actually maybe we could get. <laughs> I somewhere. don't think you're getting very nepo from Brookside. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even exist anymore. Is that other one this now, is going to run it? out. What are we going to do about that? You didn't bring a spare one. Nope. We don't like to do that. Well, because there's one. Dum dum. You're such a dum dum dummy. We are dum 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 dummy dum. Dummy dum. It's not Brookside now, anyway, is it? Mum, why aren't you very scouse anymore, Georgie? When you 37 minutes. Are you listening to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nobody Hello. listens to me. Hello. I'm listening, Mama. Go on. Sorry, can I actually stop you there? I am listening, but we are around the corner from Curry. Should we just go, go and on. get one in? Oh, let's go to Curry. Let's go. Okay, okay seatbelts on, what kids. What am I going to say then? Uh, oh, something stop. about Hollyoaks. <laughs> Brookside. Have you got any questions you want to ask our mum since we've got them in the car? Is there any sort of burning question you'd like to ask us? Oh, I have one question. Good. Good. What is it that you think? Well, we already know Linda's answer, Aston Martin DB. <laughs> what are you in this for? What, the mums of potential famouses? Yeah, what are you in this for? Or what's one thing that we could take you to that you would then be able to say to us, okay, now you've, oh, made, you've it. made it? Oh, I've always fancied going on Graham Norton, so you could go on there and I oh, could sit and in you'd the like audience. to be in the audience. Fine. Obviously, it has to talk about me. And, and then you'll the have sofa. to come backstage <laughs> and like you'll get to meet all the other famouses. Yeah. Okay, Graham well, Norton for Linda, good. I always wanted to be Michael Parkinson, so I think that I've got to get that on the sofa thing. So for me, two things. I'm not just content with one. One. <laughs> you tell him, Sheila. And I'm joining Sheila wherever we're going. You both have to be made dames of the British Empire. Oh, well, oh, that would be nice. Yeah, but babe, I was thinking the other day, you'll be dead by the time we get there. They get made dames at 17. We've got to be old, 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 old. Can you I'm get sure something I, else then, like an OBE or got, an MBA? Or... Five to ten oh, years. God, that's a so We can maybe, that's... you're right, Mum, we might be able to do an MBA. It's got to be dame. Dame. Dame, <laughs> dame Judy Dench. Judy Dench. Dench. Empire. Yeah. Okay. So, Tall order. Yeah, okay. Okay. I will just throw across yeah. the channel or something. Yeah. As you roll on your jumbo jet onto the tarmac. PJ. PJ. It's a PJ. So those are the two things. <sighs> well, we best get to work then. It. Yeah. Oh my God, okay. I do Private worry, jet. you know, genuinely I do have a worry that, that I've promised you the world and that you've invested so much in me and that I might, you know, be a disappointment. I pray that that no, never happens. That, that it might just be an MBE. That I might only be an MBE. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Disappointing. Can you imagine us at Buckingham Palace? <laughs> and I can only get you a Volvo, <laughs> not an Aston Martin. <laughs> we'll and that's it. Yeah, we'd be and very we'll grateful for a Volvo. Volvo. Girls, we'll come for we'll the come, MBA We'll have a, we'll have a little clap, but the dame will be... <laughs> okay, the dame will be standing <laughs> up for the girls. We need a BAFTA. That is on the list. We would like can a BAFTA. Yeah. Definitely we could get an MTN. Dame and Dame G. It's got to be Dame Ali and G. Dame Ali and G. They're joint work. So funny, yeah. They're going to make you one dame. Dame Ali and G. We can show that to you. Dame Ali and G Limited. Then we'll have to be buried together, babe, because you only get one dame. Yes, you've got to get it on there. We'll have to be buried, like, holding hands like this, and it will say Dame Ali Poor Raw lying in the middle somewhere. No, babe, Raw can be over there, and we can, like, his hands can touch our feet or something. Okay, fine. No, you have two separate coffins. I always say this to James. Two separate coffins, and you have a little hole. You both, like, put your hands in. Hey. Sheila, I want a serious answer. What's the best lesson that we have taught you? Good question. Oh my goodness. Nada. Not my mummy. <laughs> can't think of a thing. I think that, I know you do self-doubt yourself quite a lot, but you do give off an air of confidence. She can fake it till she makes it. Yeah. And I quite like that about you, because I know all your insecurities, but I quite like the fact that no your image you're giving <laughs> and nobody else does. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that I would have probably, if it were me, I would have probably let everybody see how insecure I was, whereas mm. you give that image, and I think that's good. I've taught you to mask. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Hide the pain. Excellent. Hide the pain. Yeah. Yes. Insecurities? What insecurities? <laughs> Not today! <laughs> today! I would say, I've said this to both girls, I admire their tenacity. I admire their Keep determination going. to just not give up. I, I do, guess. I agree, I, I agree. I always say that, you know, I admire them greatly because they saw what they wanted to get, they were passionate about it, and they, they were undeterred. It was just literally can-do attitude, and they made it happen. And I think that's what I've learned from these two girls. I have that spirit too, but watching it in your children. Yeah, that's a beautiful nice. thing. To think, you know, actually, yeah. I... You played a part. Yeah, absolutely. I contributed, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's really cool. All those auditions, George. One last question that I they know, asked. I know, babe. That they asked us was, on. What, what was the one piece of advice from your... She got somewhere to be. <laughs> <laughs> wakey, wakey. What's one piece of advice from your mum that we've carried with us through life? I can go first. This is easy for me. My mum's advice was always, if you don't ask, 
you, you don't, don't get. get. You should have seen us in Zadig and Voltaire yesterday. <laughs> Fuck you know. <laughs> we went into Zadig and Voltaire, Linda, and there was this jumper, and I, it was really sweet actually. And I was like, oh, G could get one, and I could get one because they're like kind of like same, same but different. Sure. And it says like forever happy and like really cute. I pick up the tag, seven hundred and fifteen British pounds. I think. Oh my good god. Forget it's that. Not I. <laughs> anyway, mummy goes up to the saleswoman and goes, she's an influencer, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> She She's goes, got 90,000 viewers on TikTok, you know. <laughs> if she wears it, will you give it to her for free? And the man was like, I'm really sorry, madam, I can't do that. And she was like, well, even if she says it, even if she mentions Zadig and Voltaire in her video, she talks about brands a lot. I, except I don't speak in that, that way, but yeah. But anyway, whatever. She's kinder, she's softer in her approach. The message was there. You asked. And at the end of it, he says, give me your details. I will put you in touch with the PR people and we will see what we can do. See, uh, I like uh, the way you uh, move, there, Sheila. Yeah, I but, agree. But don't the, ask, don't but get. the other thing I always say to the girls is they always say, what if, what if, what if, what if? And I said, well, don't worry about it. Let's deal with it. If we come to that Cross bridge, the bridge we when we come to yeah, it. We'll yes. Yeah. Don't we'll worry. Worry it. now, worry twice. Yeah. Why mm. worry about it now? You may never have to cross that bridge, right? Yeah, but never. if you come to that bridge and you need to cross it, that's when you worry. Yeah. Don't I don't think either. the best piece of advice from my mama bear is probably, and I don't know whether this is like advice you've given me or just something you've instilled in me through the way that you've raised me, but that really you can do anything you set your mind to. Like you never gave me like any glass ceiling like for me it was just like well yeah of course like there was never any like doubt or judgment from you I think I could have chosen to be an astronaut and you'd be like yeah sure if she was like go get him go you can do anything <laughs> and I used to say I'll take you there yeah Aww, and she would drive me to now, every audition and every everything I did and she was like yeah why not why not you and I think that has been great I for me I think that's smart. really good well done well done so good lady Oh, it's a I know. I, I, we are, we're so amazing, aren't we? We are. You are amazing. <laughs> you, amazing. you look good together. Yeah, yeah. You're amazing. Look at the camera yeah. and smile because it will be a still shot for gorgeous. the, the main picture. So gorgeous. Yeah. We are so amazing. That's why we produce such amazing. Oh. amazing say it with look your chest, them. honey. <laughs> so good. Yes. Well, you can say bye now. No, we will deliver oh. you where you need to go. Tara. Love you, bye. Bye. Oh, no, we should Tara. 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 Oh, nice to meet you. Have we go out for lunch? Yeah. Have you got a brownie? We're going to go out for lunch. Why don't we do that with the girlies? Yeah, with the girlies. Why don't we go for lunch sometime? You know when you're so busy? We need to get a luncheon before you become famous. Bye, gorgeous. Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there when I need her. Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. Who is me? You have to be your own biggest cheerleader. Babe, the door. Later. The door's not shut. Bye. 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 See you later, babe. Oh, Linda. Oh, Linda. Look at goodbye, her go. Bye, Linda. Goodbye. We're going to turn this off now. You want to say goodbye? Goodbye. So long. <laughs> Farewell. I do the say goodbye. Adieu. Adieu. To you and you and you. Do, 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 do. Sorry, everyone. We had to drop the mums off. We had to drop the mums off. We had to eat a cookie, which Ali Mark has just told me these cookies. Sorry, we were slagging Whole Foods, but well, I was only slagging the Whole Foods mango. The mango. I was slagging off Whole these Foods. These are called lovely. four vegan. Normally that puts me off. Vegan cranberry oat milk cookies, gluten free oat flour. You got four for how many? 350. And they were delicious. Get yourselves to Whole Foods, girls. As a replacement for Gales, because one cookie in Gales will set you back with four pounds. Yeah, what is it, like 280? Guys, thanks for all the questions for the mums. That was so sweet. Yeah, so sweet. They loved it. Good work. Okay, we're going to film Extra Slice now. What's it called? Extra Slice, that's good. That's, that's the bake off one, that's isn't a new it? Concept. What's that? Okay, team, this is it. What a season. What a season. Thank I you actually everyone. can't believe it thinking about the breakup at being in this season so I know, that's like blowing my I mind know. well thank you all thanks guys for watching and for loving us what a season say. guys chris hall bella may made a cameo so good mums the breakup madonna living on a prayer living on a prayer good times. the chris, memory doctor christmas must go see the memory doctor. my birthday father christmas babe oh my god my birthday your birthday no your birthday was last season when I was still in love. But now you're in love with yourself. Ain't that the goddamn truth? Amen, sister. Give me a few weeks, galleys. I'll go on a few more dates and I'll come back with some good stories. Yeah, and oh, everyone's yeah. panicking themselves. Guys, do you really think we could stay away? We're obsessed with ourselves. It'll be a month max, I reckon. Oh, right? yeah. We're at this um, Chinese supermarket. Here we are, and we've come for 
circle. We've come full circle. It's very nice. What a time to be alive. Please, will you put in the comments your favourite bits so we know what you like yes. and what you don't like? Do you know what I mean? What you want to see for next? I don't know if this is going to be season four or five. Who knows? I don't know what season we're on. Should I double check? Just double check that. Maybe. Let me just double check because what, someone should really know that. But guys, season four, if we can get what we're working for, which is a big fat. Song. Guys, we're on season three. Yeah. So season four, we're working on a big fat sponsorship for you. Babe, that's Vauxhall. Babe, I know. <laughs> Again. Oh my god, it's Vauxhall right here! Babe, that's why you just said you pretended you knew and I knew you hadn't seen it. I knew you didn't know. I didn't even get to do my ADHD thing. Well, 8,000. Save that for season four. What is it? Just you've diagnosed yourself. Oh, your TikTok thing. Fine, don't worry about it. I'll save it for the I'll pull over somewhere oh, nice I'll and I'll save tell it me. for the pod. Don't worry oh, about it. save it for the pod. Guys, you're going to be so sick to death of us. You all think you are more of us. Oh, why Mike? don't you pull over like the because taxi Because it's a taxi ride, yeah, but babe. but what's going to happen? You babe. can, you just pull out. Babe, I swear to... No, babe, I'm sorry, that's too scary for me. Look, it's Are all you right mad? there. <laughs> Land loading only. Got it. You've made a mare. Mountain out of a molehill. Babe. Portsmouth, she's off to. Dorking, is it? Hi, um, right, everyone. Thank love you, you guys. We love you. We're so sorry. We're so batty and crazy. And I think this episode is probably going to be the most manic we've ever done, but we did it. Got through it. Well done, team. Love you all. Love We're the tired. Guys. It's been a long week, but we are going to go and rest. We're going to get funnier, stronger, fitter, and we're going to come back better than ever. Well, hey! Guys, thank you. We love you. Love you. See you on the pod next week. Woo! Come on, the girls! Mwah. Love you. Love you. Disagree. I always think about that. Yeah. Mwah. Disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. <laughs>